Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new to my channel, I have some things that I need to update with um, my regular viewers, if you will, and my Instagram friends. Um, but welcome everybody, and so just for this little housekeeping, bear with me. Uh, for the first part of this, I just want to do a little health update. I know everyone was concerned, and I appreciate your prayers and um, your thoughtful messages to me. It was just such a really, really um, cool experience. I mean, you hate to... Nobody likes a health scare, but it does ground you. It tests your faith, and it also shows you that people are there for you and care about you, and sometimes we need to be vulnerable. So I shared some things on Instagram and I hinted a little bit to what was going on, I think, on my last video. It feels like forever since I made a video. But anyway, um, I had had uh, a regular yearly exam, which included a mammogram. And on that mammogram showed some calcifications in my right breast that weren't there originally, or, you know, in the previous mammogram. So they wanted me to come on back to the actual hospital and have an, I wasn't, a, maybe it was like an ultrasound? No, I think it was going to be for a biopsy. Wait, yeah, for a biopsy. So you went, yeah, sorry, it was a blur, it happened pretty fast. So within two days I was back there and they did another mammogram and they pinpointed where the calcifications were and then um, you lay on a table for this exam face down and your boob literally goes in a hole and you, you, the table lifts up and down. So you're basically like uh, the auto mechanic is, the auto mechanic is working underneath you. You're like a car. So they can get at you better. I thought that was genius the way they did it. Didn't hurt me at all. They put some lidocaine in there. And I said to the doctor, I said, dude, I get lip injections. This is nothing. This didn't hurt at all. So they put some lidocaine in there. Then they put a needle in, which is like pressurized with air that shoots farther in to where they need to be and it goes clockwise I guess and the needle has a, like a sharp opening on one end that kind of scoops and then sucks out the tissue as it goes and so they just did a little biopsy um, sent that off I had a little tiny nick it didn't hurt like I said they put a little stereo strip on there or whatever no stitches and uh, as he was leaving, he said it was a very small area and it didn't look like anything to him. He didn't see any worries. And then about a day later, I did get a call and they said, well, it looks like this has some atypical cells in it, which aren't cancerous, but they're atypical. And so with that kind of a situation, then they have to go in. And at that point, they do call it a lumpectomy. But it's so funny, you guys, because there's no lump. It was just cells. The, the calcifications are little tiny seeds that indicate that something in the duct or in your other cells um, are producing something different, they're doing something different, and so the, the residue or the residuals are, the, are these little tiny calcifications. It doesn't mean cancer, it just means something's changing. So I kind of think of it like a mole. If you have a mole that they're curious about, they'll go and they'll take that mole off, but then they want to take the tissue around, I'm pointing to my arm, they want to take the tissue around that and make sure that they get a good clean um, sample all the way around. That's the same thing with um, this lumpectomy. They want to go in and make sure that they get a clear sample that shows no atypical cells, and that's what they did, and then I got a call a few days after that, and I was shopping with my daughter, Emma, which was fantastic to be shopping with her and get that phone call, and they just said, uh, yeah, they, there was a little, a few more of those cells in the total lumpectomy, but enough clean all the way around that they weren't concerned, and then the doctor ended up calling me that same night a little bit later on, just to kind of reiterate what the nurse had told me earlier in the day. So it's all good news. Um, yeah, it makes you wonder, like, why was it changing in the first place? But our bodies do that, and I'm not going to get too shook up about it. But, you know, be aware and get your mammograms and take care of yourself. So that's what I wanted to say at the beginning of this. And I don't know if my film's going to run out. It's been running out on me, so maybe I should stop it. But first, I just want to show you, when I was shopping with Emma, I hope this doesn't run out. If it runs out at the end, you know, too bad, too sad. Maybe I'll uh, take a few pictures and then I'll post the stuff. But I got a couple pairs of shoes. I bought some shirts for Mr. Smith. And I got a cute, um, two cute summer shirts for myself and a little dress. But first off, I have the shoes sitting right in front of me. Look at this. Aren't these the cutest? Old Navy. 
And where we went shopping was there was there's brand new outlet malls um, out by where I live. So Emma came over and spent the night the night before with me, and she brought us um, some dinner and hung out with us and brought me some flowers. And so anyway, and another little black pair, cutest, kind of the same style. My feet have gotten bigger. I swear they have. These are a size nine, but they're 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 a little tiny bit big, but really really comfortable. These have a little tiny pattern on them if you can see that. So I'm excited to wear these with shorts and. Uh, even maxi dresses that just barely touch the floor. I like a flat like that. That's so cute. So, and then I'm going to stand up and get out of the picture, but I'm going to show you the two little shirts that I got. Three little shirts. Oh, three little shirts and a dress. These two shirts are exactly the same. Um, this is the front. This one has like little fish on it. I don't know if you can see the little pattern. It's kind of, it's either a dark navy um, and white. I can't tell. And then the back, this is a peach colored one that has little pineapples on it. They're the same shirt you know, the same style. Little tiny buttons right here and then it opens, this little swing back like that. So I'm sure you'll have to wear um, either a little bandeau bra or maybe you could wear a tank underneath it. But I think the whole idea is for your back to kind of show in that one little spot. So I'm excited to wear those. Those are really, really cute. And then another little, this might screw up my camera so I better not go too close. A um, little shorter in the front and a little bit longer you can see in the back. It's just blue, little, little blue, I don't know what they are, little blue things, little blue little things. <laughs> little sleeveless shirt, really cute, two little pockets. These are all, this is all Old Navy, you guys. And this is a little Old Navy dress. How cute is that? I mean, can you see it? I'm probably not even, I better see if I'm holding it in front of the camera. You can see that there, and then in the back, it's got this little detail right here that goes across, and then just drops down. Not you can wear a bra and you don't have any worries about it. It's probably not a really good picture of what I'm showing you. Oh, but it's so cute. I wish you could see these better. I'll have to figure out a way to do this kind of thing better. And I bought Mr. Smith some shirts. These ones were from Banana Republic. Cute little striped shirt. I roll up the sleeves and wear these with a pair of shorts or khakis. And a little bit dressy casual. I don't know if you can see this print on there. But I got such a good deal on Banana Republic, you guys. Sometimes you just, you gotta go. This is like a jean shirt. It's not a true jean, but it's got that, it looks like a jean shirt, a darker jean shirt. And I don't know, I don't like when, when my husband tucks shirts, and I like the, you know, the out, wearing shirts out with your shorts and with your jeans. This one is, looks like linen to me. You probably can't see this. My first attempt at doing this, you guys, so bear with me. It's a little screwy. We'll get better. <laughs> I say that all the time. Okay, here's the cutest little shirt. It's got bicycles on it. How cute. I wonder if you can see. I wonder if you're going to be able to see this. Can you see that? Little bicycles all over the shirt. I know it's white, so that might screw it up. Maybe hold it back here a little bit. That'll be really cute with some shorts or khakis or something, you know, to go to a barbecue or a birthday party in the summer. Just cute with the bike, the old-fashioned bikes on it. I fell in love with that. So anyway, anyway, back in the picture with me. I'm so glad you guys are hanging around with me. You realize that I hit over a thousand subscribers here just this last week when we were out of town. So that was such a fun thing coming on the heels of the kind of the other situation going on there. So anyway, I'm just real excited that um, I can start to settle back in. We did a little traveling. I got a new car. and Maybe I'll have to take a couple pictures and show you guys that. I put it on Instagram if you want to see it. By the way, I'm Vino Lola on Instagram. You guys come and hang out with me there. I seem to spend more time there than like on any other social network. I'm not good at like Snapchat and whatnot. Jenny from uh, Sunny Beach Couture is getting me to do more of that stuff, but I, I suck at it. So I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's kind of, I don't know. I get frustrated when I don't know what I'm doing and I need like major tutorials. <laughs> I suppose I could spend some more time on YouTube learning how to do that. But anyway, you guys, that's all I have to say. Just wanted to say hello. I'll get back in the swing here pretty quick, but good to see you. I got a couple of tags that I got to get to. I, I filmed one and it cut out on me in the end. So, you know, I start crying and feel sorry for myself. So I got rid of that one, but Anyway, I'll get back to it. Talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Yeah, that's not good.